Welcome to Every Way Woman. So I'd like to start with a little game I call Shame or Fame. Ready, ladies? Ready. Let me break it down to you. Here's the story. Couple, together three years, get married. She decides she wants to have a baby. There's trouble with fertility. They now have to invest in further treatments. She's fertile, he is not, just to be clear. Now, in this, she finds out that he's $150,000 in debt. Surprise, she did not know immediately files for divorce. Shame or fame? Fame. Shame. Fame. Shame. <laughs> Look at me, ladies in the audience. Shame. Fame. Shame on her for not doing her research. They were together three years before they got married. Shame on her. Shame on her for leaving her man when he needed her. Okay, times were difficult, but she left him. Shame, shame, shame. Okay, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, fame, 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 fame. fame. Okay, yeah, still Why? together for three years. However, Maybe that was not information that he disclosed to her. Now, if you give out information, you're like, oh, this is what you do, then you might think, yeah, the other person does that too. What yeah. is she then well, going to do? Go well, ahead. he didn't lie about, about it. In and get, yeah, he didn't he lie about it. He was just a little hush hush. She didn't ask right. the right oh, questions. As women, we got to ask the right questions. We ask all kind of questions. Yeah, a man, right. all a man all a, in a relationship, we don't ask questions. Yeah, except, for, except for this. But I knew someone who had, had met someone and married someone whose parents had made their car payments for the first year, year and a half, two years of their marriage and didn't even know about it. Okay. Okay. So how was that? How was okay. she not to know but, uh, that I, he had made, made in, the, who in, her, his in her defense and as a single woman, I want to know, ladies, how much do you have to disclose about your finances? Everything. I mean, do I have to air all my dirty visa absolutely. bills? You because absolutely have, have to air debt. You have to air. Absolutely. And yeah. if, if, if my mate doesn't air it, in my excuse, I still have to ask the questions. Babe, love you. You're fine mm -hmm. as ever. But how much money are we going to be in debt? Because it's our debt. Yeah, because he didn't tell me. And, and I didn't ask, he, I just leave him? But maybe he didn't <clears throat> tell her. Maybe she might have asked him. We don't know if she asked those questions and he didn't tell okay, her. Okay, so are you concerned maybe they that were, one lie can lead to another lie? Absolutely. Li yeah, let's, that's, so, that's a little lie. That, that's well, not even a little no, lie. No, but that's a very solid point, Stacey, that if he's not being honest about his finances, what else is he hiding? But... We don't know that he just didn't say anything and she didn't ask. Well, okay, well, what, did he spend his money on? what did he spend his money on? Frivolous things. We're talking okay. watches, glasses, That's irrelevant, absolutely. ladies. No, it, it's absolutely relevant. No, it's not. Yes, it is, because he spent his money on crap. He didn't even like go in debt to buy a house. Madison, if he spent it on a stripper or if he spent it on buying her oh. a ring, it's <laughs> irrelevant. The problem is, is at a difficult time in their relationship, she bailed out. And but that's the okay, so her relationship wasn't real. Here's my thing. Okay, that's so thing. it wasn't even real to begin with. In my opinion, it's a little bit of both, okay? Typical Gemini, me. <laughs> I'm saying a little shame, a little fame. So why is it shame and fame? Let me hear this. In my opinion, good for her for standing up for herself. However, standing up for herself. Shame, shame in the fact that maybe there was a few other alternative steps in the meantime before divorce to, you know, maybe therapy or um, let's really. create a budget he, he bought together. A, he bought some watches and um, went, took himself to McDonald's. Maybe like it was $150,000 worth. But and they're going to therapy. Ther wait, wait, no wait, way. Just don't no know. way. How did she stand up for herself by leaving her marriage the because, way some information came because that she didn't like? Well, she didn't want to waste any more time. She was ready to have a baby, to start a family. He was not able to do that, not only financially, but physically. So she moved on that, to find a different man. You know, being in debt is not a reason not to have kids. I mean, life right. happens. You want to have a family committed to it, that's great. But the, really what it is, is the man was a liar. He lied to her. And, can, and, and not getting full disclosure about your debt and about the way that you spend your money and what you spend it on. Now, if he had said he was $150,000 in debt because he had bought a house, mm -hmm. I, yeah, shame on her. Okay. But it wasn't for a house. It well, was maybe, for here's, You know, here's the thing. In his defense, maybe he was afraid to say that to her. And, and I they didn't be, have a real relationship. But I'm, a, I'm nervous. They were together for three years and dated. Okay, so what? how do you have that conversation, Stacey? Well, then what are you doing for the when, three how years? Did you, no, okay, how did you have the Here's conversation? Stacey. Hey, baby, I'm going to take you out. I'm going to take you out to dinner. This is $200. This is $500. This is, and she's thinking everything's okay. My man is taking care of me. She's this is, I'm in a good place. I feel good about where we are. And then she finds out, oh my gosh, those two $300 dinners that we could have done without to be $150. Now I can't have a baby. Yes, ladies, a man, or, or not say, a person can only keep up a farce for so long. Right. We're dismissing. They were together <laughs> three years. Okay, but I'm go not back saying to my that question, he was right. Stacey, but he, he was over budget $50,000 a year. He also did not pay attention. 
I'm okay. not saying so she didn't she pay, pay attention. attention. No, no, but let's let's discuss the conversation she should have had with him. How do you broach that with your man? How do you look at someone you trust who's assuming financial responsibility yes. and say, yes. I question you, baby. No, no, like, how, no, 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 Here's the conversation. Babe, I'm going to you marry me. Yes, okay, before we get married, we need to talk about some things. One, we need to talk about our debt. Two, we need to talk about your credit, your our credit. Three, we mm -hmm. need to talk about some HIV tests. You got to talk about yes, all things. I agree. I, I absolutely <laughs> yes. agree. Yes. I do. You just can't say, well, you're so fine. That's I love you. <laughs> Let's go to the altar. <laughs> no, That's what I want to do. Really? It's not okay. like that. I, I would like it a little more easy than to have the interview my husband. Okay, then you okay. will be as a waller. Yes, 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 you will be there, there too. too. You will be there too. More with every way woman when we come back. Stay tuned. No, that works. Let's just go 